Hi. Still on day two trip to Minnesota. I guess part B. Um, so I'm in Waterloo at a truck stop right now and I got Subway so I'm just stopping for dinner. I'm gonna go to Galena tonight. Hopefully I'll be there about 7. That's what my guess is. It's about 5.30 right now. Um, today's outlook. Um, I'm So far I'm not really too happy with my trip. Um, the geneticist um, with the EDS, I mean, that's his findings and that's fine. Um, that that's not the primary cause, but that was the primary reason I went to Mayo. So he wants my primary reason to be POTS and a bunch of the neuro stuff. And so hopefully go that way and see why. And, you know, as I know that there might not be a why, I might have just more and more conditions. Um, I don't think that I talked about in the last one that he thinks that I have fibromyalgia too. So it'd be EDS, fibromyalgia, POTS, in that order, but still not finding the root cause. Um, there was a, I tried to get in early. They say that you can check in and try to get in early. I did check in right after my appointment. I think it was 10.30 when I left the geneticist and then I went and got blood and then I checked in and then that's when I made the last message. Um, so then I was in bad shape all the way up until the, they called me in. But finally when I got called in, um, you know, and did started some of the testing, I don't know if it was they had me do a lot of the testing laying down. Um, I started to feel a little bit better, at least functional better. I mean, when they called me back, I barely even knew if I could walk back there. And he could see that, and he actually <laughs> kind of held my hand going back there. Um, so, that, and, oh, so first, um, there was the sweat test where they kind of shock you, and I don't, they can't tell me anything about them. I've done that in Texas. Uh, then there was the breathing test also. I did that in Texas. Uh, funny thing was that they told me to, it's like a blood pressure machine and it has the gauge. And they told me to breathe up to 40 for this long amount of time. I thought that they said 140 and I tried to blow all the way up there and they're like, I got way up to like 80 or 90 and they're like, wow, well, we hadn't seen anybody do something like that. So, um, I ended up calling in to the Mennonites and telling them I was coming on Monday. And so, I, I really irritated with that big gap. Why didn't they get appointments in that gap? But they got me starting to get me pretty booked up for next week. So, I'll go back there Monday. I don't know how much vlogging I'll do while I'm in Galena. But, um, so I might just talk to you guys on Monday. Um, thanks so much.